Three years ago, we laid the foundations of Akkuyu nuclear power plants, plant, and now we are commencing the construction of the third unit. We will continue with speed and hopefully lay the foundation for the fourth unit. The decision to include nuclear power in our energy mix is a strategic step we have taken to increase the share of renewable energy resources. With this move, we aim to assure, take under guarantee the future of our next generations. Despite the Negative impacts of the coronavirus pandemic, our country has been growing. We have registered a growth of 1.8 percent, even though many places in the world did experience a shrink in their economies, and we believe that our growth will be even bigger. Ivan Stadadubsev, he's the president of the Turkey-Russia Project Development Association and he's joining us from Ankara. Mr. Stadadubsev, thanks for being with us here on TRT World. So if you can please just explain the value of the cooperation over this particular facility between um, Russia and Turkey. Mm, uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me uh, to your program. I would like to say that uh, this is the most important thing about this project, that this is a multidimensional project. Whatever we will say about it, it will be truth. For example, it got uh, economical dimension, it got labor dimension, it got political dimension. Today, you know, there was a group meeting in the Turkish Great National Assembly, and uh, Mr. Uh, President Erdogan had a speech uh, in the group meeting of uh, Justice and Development Party. And uh, he very clearly showed how it was a power sector of Turkey 20 years ago and even 10 years ago in comparison with what uh, Turkey have today. And, you know, it is quite impressive uh, what had happened. It's almost doubled or tripled uh, the installed capacity of Turkish power plants. And together with uh, these projects which is coming to us, I believe in the nearest years, uh, I mean Akuyu, it will even go forward. Go forward not only by uh, by means of uh, installed capacity and uh, the generated electricity. It goes forward bringing a new opportunities, a brand new sector uh, to Turkey. I think this is a most important thing about this project. This is a brand new industry uh, of Turkey created with assistance and contribution of the Russian Federation. I'll just lay out for us then some of those bits that you uh, picked out there, the uh, economic uh, side of it and the political side. Let's pick up the political side of it first. How important is it, do you think, for the, the two governments of Turkey and Russia to be working together on such a project as this? You know, the importance of these projects uh, from the point of view of our government, uh, you know, it is very much clear. Uh, I will just give you one very small example. Basically, when we are speaking, I'm, I'm by, by myself, I'm somehow from power energy sector, so I know this very well. Uh, basically, uh, what, what we see in uh, power plant construction, there are uh, two milestones which are basically celebrated. The beginning of job and uh, the completion of job. Maybe a preliminary acceptance and final acceptance of the project. But uh, what we see between Russia and Turkey, almost every year, two presidents are coming together just to celebrate uh, the milestone of this project. You know, there are a lot of milestones in, in Akuyu power plant. Uh, many of them are quite important. But I see here just kind of a message. Uh, they want to show that cooperation between two countries are going on. Probably it is a sign for uh, local societies, I mean Russian people and uh, Turkish people, and also to third countries. Just uh, I see here some attempt, some will to show that Russian Turkish cooperation is in place and going forward and fruitful and uh, based on a win-win model. Well, that's what I see here. Uh, and Mr. Sadovitsev, you mentioned that uh, you are an engineer and you're a fay and familiar with this particular field of nuclear power generation. So just tell us a little bit about the engineering side of this. Just what kind of technology is being employed at this Akuyu nuclear plant? 
Uh, first of all, I would like to say that um, uh, this is a very much complicated project because it uh, utilizes the most advanced technologies of in nuclear power plants. You know, Rosatom is one of the leading uh, world companies in this respect, first of all. Second of all, this is very much difficult uh, project in terms of administrative issues because you know uh, it is a project which is elaborated uh, by model BOO built operate on and uh, it is a very first project in the world I mean nuclear power plants if we speak uh, looking at uh, this is a very first project in the world constructed under this model so Russian side should bring together a lot of different companies which basically they do not work together. They're working just uh, on a bilateral basis, basis with the government. The engineering company is coming to the government and saying, okay, I will make design. Another company is coming and saying, okay, I will construct. Another company is coming and saying, okay, I will contribute with the fuel. Another company is saying, okay, I will just, I will operate this power plant. You know, basically those I, I would, will not exaggerate if I say just at least five, six very much different companies okay. are now together working on this project. And it is a very much uh, big challenge. Sorry, to Mr. Stadadupsev, uh, I, I do apologize for interrupting you. We are running short of time and I do want to bring our next guest in. Uh, Ivan Stadadupsev from the Turkey-Russia Project Development Association. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>